is the voice of the female traveler, Lumine. Before we get the ball rolling, let's introduce our other hosts. Yay! Yay. Hello, everyone. My name is Avilas, and I voice Emily, a famous perfumer. <laughs> I'm gonna and hear my name a lot in this live stream. And I'm the voice of Milu, a talented dancer from Sumeru. <laughs> yeah! And I'm Julia Gu, the voice of Kirora, a courier from Inazuma. Oh my gosh, amazing! So uh, I am so happy to have you guys here. Okay, y'all can probably guess why we're all here today. It's time for us to show off a new limited Hi, summer map. Ooh. I can't wait to see what the developers have been cooking up this time. Yes. I haven't even seen the final version. Ooh. Well, that's what the version 4.8 oh, is for. Let's take a look. No. Yes. Can't move it. Hold on. I can't move it to a different tab. Currently organizing a flower exhibition. I know. That strange smell around here. Surround yourself with fragrance for too long, and your sense of smell will become dull. Allow yourself to be consumed by your emotions, and you lose the ability to think rationally. Oh, I love this skip I'm button. I can just skip it all. Yeah. yeah. Skip That's what it is. Yeah, that's Alright, I already hate a game style. The I'm back nice, in the so damn what, building with her. I'm not really here for the story in this. It's decent, but it's not amazing. <laughs> she so seems so basic. Supported by their companions. Well, sorry. <laughs> I'm watching the live stream. And, 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 and the thing is, Batman <laughs> too, you can just watch it back, so... Or if I if I wanted to, I could just I could all skip right. it all and just go watch it back. I don't know which it is. It wasn't just a dream, but this uh, Nekomata friend of yours, she has any hamsters, does she? I remember. Wait, but is this the person that you said you like? This character right here. Well, then I woke up just like this. Let me see. Oh, did she get a new <laughs> outfit? So this is what it feels like to ride a toy train. Oh, Navia. Oh, that was the person I got. I'm sorry. Oh. Wait, who? Out. Kitty girl. Hold on. I got. I'm like, wait. I. You don't know half the people I know. <laughs> if you actually expect. Oh, her. Who? Oh yeah, I like those I like. I know. I know. I like that. I like that. <laughs> oh, oh there's God. a new event. Oh, look, uh, Wander is apparently gonna be in there too. <laughs> you know how bad I am at redeem codes. The oh, fuck game. Yeah, you just wait a little bit and they show up. Yeah, but but like but like but like. I broke my nail. <laughs> Wait, I need that. <laughs> okay, I took a picture. I'll do it in a little bit because apparently I have to open the app and I should probably mute the stream because I can hear the Zen loop going off. Is that Nilu? Yeah, there's an event with Nilu. I think she's getting a new skin. I can't see the code. Oh, um, I'll send it to you. It's fine. Genshin code. Wow. <laughs> Your little fox blocks the code. That's fucking <laughs> <great>. <laughs> Good. Y'all don't get a code wow, now. This is making me feel super fine. ready for some summer adventure. It's fine. So, this is probably the I took a screenshot, don't worry. For a new character. Yeah. Yeah, my oh friend my figured it out. That was, that was the perfect segue. <laughs> a perfect segue, of course. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> All right, let's introduce everyone to one of Fontaine's most renowned perfumers, Emily. Uh -huh. Fuck that name! Emily isn't just a great perfumer. Mm. She's also a pharmacology and botany expert. I love how the MCs get more voice time in the live streams Wait, than they do in the game. Wait, that reminds me. Doesn't one of Clan's voice lines mention that Emily has a true profession? An identity that's been a mystery up till now? Well, no, once we've learned more about her. Q5. A casual stroll after Q5. a meal aids digestion and increases blood circulation. So, um, would you like to join? Okay, that's right. Oh, yeah, she's so pretty. She's so divine. She looks like an NPC. I'm an NPC. What do you mean? <laughs> Neutralize. 
same name, same shit. <laughs> There it is. What? She's so cool. What the fuck you mean? Yes. And, and did you see when she smelled the perfume? Oh my gosh, I absolutely love yeah, that detail. Yes, she's so elegant. Like just the way she moves. Like it's just. So I hate perfume. Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> I know, right? So let me go. Emily is the most renowned perfume in Fontaine. Ooh. The new product yeah. she releases. <laughs> I'm allergic to this perfume. That's the funny thing. <laughs> So if you want to get there you go. There's the first color. Perfumes, then be prepared to start lining up at four in the morning. Oh. Whoa. Mm. Emily has another I'm identity on top of her so trade as a perfumer. Edge. She's a forensic. Oh yeah! Forget about the. Mm -hmm. She's the one who cleans up the scenes <laughs> after an investigation has been concluded. She's a very experienced cleaner, so she often picks up details and scraps of evidence that other people overlooked. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So mm -hmm. she's kind of like a forensic examiner. You know, <sighs> Chevrous mentioned it in one of her voice lines. She said that Emily's chemistry knowledge is super helpful for uncovering hidden clues during investigations. Mm. She can tell what type of perfume that someone wears and where they've been spending time. Okay, it, it all makes sense now. <laughs> It's because of her forensics work. That also explains how Emily and Chevrous got so close. Uh-huh, absolutely. Forensic cleaning is a lot more dangerous than creating perfumes. Hmm. Emily generally doesn't talk about her other identity in order to avoid retaliation from suspects. Hmm. So most people only know her as a famous perfumer. Oh, Emily's probably been through all sorts of stressful Does that, situations. Well, the what? I mean, you, you, you could get it. Some crime scenes. Ooh, if you want, if you still want to try. Toughness to handle all that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And her professional experiences contribute to her unique combat style. Emily is a dendro polearm user. When now she's a dendro polearm, and I hate polearm, even though I use uh. I bet that skill <coughs> is <a really coughs> Even though I use Red and then John Lee, but we, you know, they don't yeah. count. The Lumidus case is a creation that Emily yeah, is sure. really proud of. <laughs> Shush! <It fires laughs> They're hot. That's, that's, that's my only thing. <laughs> which deals dendro damage. Oh. oh. When nearby opponents are affected by the burning reaction, the Lumidus case will accumulate scents at intervals. Oh. Yeah, I know you do. I, I don't I really care for that. Cents, the Lumidus case will be upgraded from level 1 to level Wait, two. why the fuck is it in a different from language? Level two, the Go away. Lumidus case can fire an extra puff Go away. Oh, the damage dealt by the puffs of purity will also be people? increased. Come Only one luminous wait, case created by I, Emily can Why is that in German? Oh, wait, does if any, if you go in a different language and go in Spanish. I understand Spanish. I don't understand fucking German. After Emily's passive talent. But I don't want to feel like reading a Spanish. The level two Lumidus case Why did you will switch release clear due cologne. Because I rather read Spanish than fucking German. Oh, yeah. Okay. AOE but, dendro but damage English to nearby opponents. Okay. Yeah, no, I saw that. They got lazy. Only enemies under the burning status will create scents. And the damage scales with the number of scents collected by the Lumidus case. <laughs> exactly. That sums it up perfectly. Oh. After unlocking English. one of her specific talents, Emily will deal greater damage Words. to enemies under the burning condition. Oh. And when a Lumidus okay. case is on the field, it increases the entire thing. party's resistance yeah, to you're burning damage. Account. Oh, okay. Now I understand how Emily's talents can work in a party. So, once you use her Lumidus case to apply Dendro to your enemies, you can use a Pyro skill with a different character to trigger the burning condition. Uh-huh, that's exactly right. <laughs> okay. And the Lumidus case has even more functionalities. Oh. After you've unleashed Emily's elemental burst, the Lumidus case will rise to level three and collect the existing Lumidus case on the field. Oh, that's cool. This fully upgraded Lumidus case will cause Scented Dew to continuously there descend you go. onto nearby You're showcasing enemies, father with the shit character. Now she looks better. When the level <laughs> Lumidus case leaves the field, the new oh my god. This case will be at the same level as the one she collected during her burst. Okay, so if a level I two Lumidus case about is about to leave the field, then bitch. you could unleash Emily's elemental burst to reset its Koran? Uh, that way the level Thank two Lumidus you, case love. will be able to Geo spend sword. even more time on the field. <laughs> the, Bingo! The Geo it seems like you've really figured out her kit. 
but we should let travelers experiment with these mechanics for themselves. <laughs> okay, I think I understand Emily a lot better she now that we've learned about her skills. Like she transforms scents yeah, into fumes and leaves That's the world in a cleaner place. Yes. Honestly, chloride. her skills seem to be the same as both uh, perfumer and forget. forensic cleaner. <laughs> Shiori. I forget. There's so many C names in my head right now. Emily, I'm sending all kinds of sense. Look, I'm sending so many codes over to people right now. Emily is on the case. So I my brain's not paying attention. Ooh, are okay, we gonna get the chance does. to see her forensic cleaner side? <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> During Emily's story quest, the Pumum de Ombra chapter, travelers will learn about the mysterious a goose flower that has appeared in Sumeru. Travelers will work with Emily to uncover a series of mysteries related to this flower and expose the truth once and for all. Ooh, Guess it's not doing that story quest because I don't want to hear my name. Fuck this, <laughs> 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 Fuck this game. Should make a section just for code. I have not, but I could. You want to help me? You can always make it and then just add it. Because <laughs> they're a mod in my server anyways. Travelers can look forward to returning event wishes from Navia and Nilu. Navia and Nilu. And in the second phase of version 4.8, we'll have event wishes for Emily and Yelan. A new five star polearm ah, Lumidus so elegy will also be featured on the weapon banner. banner. Mm. All right, okay. That I'm so confused. Why is she in the second phase? For my sake. Her banner is going to do so well because of Yelan. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> It's also the right time to show the second redemption code anyway. Oh my god, I just you finished sending the first one. Just put my phone away. God damn it. I got it. Man. I'm having fun. I gotta go claim this on another account as well, so. You know, I could do the most easiest thing right here and do this. No, I okay, cannot do that. Yeah. Boom. Do that. Easy. If, if you're sending it on your phone, you can just take pictures. No, like, go look at my stream. I am. I turned my VTuber off. Oh no, I'm in a Jack in the Box commercial. <laughs> oh, there we go. I said easy. It's okay, I already got it though. Oh, it looks like we're headed to a new place. And, and back to a beautiful location, then it's only fitting to wear a beautiful outfit. Yes, exactly. You are so new right. skin. And Nilu and Kirara will get new outfits in version 4.8. Yay! I don't have them, so I don't care for them. Well, Kiara maybe, but you better get me a free one for Kiara. I'm not paying for it. It's totally awesome. I have to share it with y'all in more detail. Oh my God! Yes. Wait, can you pin that to? Oh, you pinned it. <laughs> That's cute, but I don't even have Nilu, and I don't think I'm gonna get her. Genshin hates me, and I don't really, sp really spend any money. I present One. To you a gift from the forest. Two. It's cute, but I mean, I don't even have her, and she's not my favorite, so. Three. Oh my gosh, she looks oh my so gosh. beautiful. Mm -hmm. she's so Four. Gorgeous. Like, look at all the flowers and like the, the skirt being petals. Oh my yes. gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh. So uh, oh, it, it I really spoke Genshin wrong. Too, don't you think? Yes, it's oh, it just shows off the <laughs> even more, and I'm so happy. Oh, there's, there's also a really cool story behind this outfit. Does everyone remember the title of the new version? Yeah, Summer Tide Scales and Tails, like fairy tales, right? Oh, yes, yeah, yes, yes, cool. Absolutely. Oh, thank you. And then the last one you can do too. Traveling Thank you, my love. Fairy tale world known as Simulanka. In this world, Simulanka. Nilu will get a oh. new outfit and a new identity. That is so exciting. They gotta be free because I'm not paying shit for it. It's a 
five star one. So I'm free. guessing Simulator oh, is fuck the that. new they summer the four region. Star ones up. Yep. And this fairy tale world is facing um, all sorts of crises. Well, then someone's not getting discover. New area. Shortly after entering this world. Is it the mountain oh, finally? Oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa. That footprint is huge. Wait a second. Right? You have to be massive to leave a footprint like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Take absolutely. Oh, and if you follow the footprints into the depths of the region, then you it's might be able be to find some clues. Origami animals live in this forest, so you might be able to get some valuable information from them. Ooh. Oh, that's helpful. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I notice some of the animals look off color. Yes, they do. Very perceptive What's of you. Paper people? Some of the orcs <laughs> are in big trouble. The color no. of their paper is fading. Oh, I know, no. and it's so oh. sad. So travelers will need to work together with their friends to revitalize the forest and help those animals solve this crisis. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. I will do anything to help these origami creatures. I love Absolute them already. <laughs> I know, 100%. I want to take anything. one home with me. Yes, but, okay, <laughs> travelers won't have to face these crises alone. They'll receive help from okay. all sorts of companions during their journey in Simulanka. Hey, it's Kirara in her new outfit. And Nadia! Yes. Oh, ah. and there's Hat Guy. I uh, wonder, <laughs> Hat Guy. <laughs> If travelers are interested in seeing how the events in Simulac unfold, then be sure to check out the summer region during the new update. Okay, well, since Kirara is wearing her cool new outfit, can we take a closer mm -hmm. look? Thank you for noticing. <laughs> oh, you did. Um, well, thank you for pinning it anyway. I appreciate you. Scaling walls, leaping across the rooftops. <laughs> Nothing new for me. Oh, my level 20 Ki Kiara will love this outfit. Won't I get funny looks from people if I dress like this in delivery? <laughs> One of the least played characters in the entire game. Like, There's a skin for it. Whoa. Yeah, my level 20 will love it. <laughs> I'm not leveling her up just because of an outfit. I don't feel like kill I don't feel like fighting her boss. I don't think I ever fought it. Stop. Oh, fuck. Yeah, the, the color, <laughs> style, and the He probably won't be, and that makes me sad. I need a, I need a, like, like a strong impression of a I, I need to, I just need three more coffees, and then I'll have a. Watch out. <laughs> see six of them. Well, best of all, travelers will be able to obtain this outfit for free. <laughs> Excerpts of bliss will be scattered throughout Simulanka. Travelers will need to collect jubilant feathers and open fairy tale troves to obtain excerpts of bliss. Oh, After you've collected enough of these travelers excerpts, skin. travelers can obtain <laughs> Kirara's new outfit for free. They hate us. They can also get primo gems and other rewards. Yeah, they yes. hate us. Oh. Awesome! I know what I'm doing. Yeah, at least in every other game, your your main your MC so gets to talk. So yeah. Oh heck yeah! Get my yes. paws on that. Genshin only gets to talk when we have to think of stuff. Exactly. I'll probably do it just to get the skin because it's free, but um there's even more content in the big summer update. No. Yes, there's more. Simulanka has a bunch yeah. of fabulous events that everyone can enjoy. Oh really? Let's hear oh, wait. Oh, let me it. let me add Travelers you guys can look on, on her. Four different kinds I need I haven't added anyone. I only added a friend. I'll have to give you my code once I get on then the list. Travelers will have to move through streaming currents and destroy targets to score points and earn rewards. Destroying special targets will even produce unique. Yeah, free outfit, the free outfit. I, really, really I remember really I, love to I was moved. I didn't have a computer, and I did the whole one for oh, Kaya's oh skin so on my cool. phone because I was like, I'm getting this fucking skin. I don't give a fuck. I don't care if my phone overheats. I'm getting his skin. We have flying hatters trick. Travelers can use a flying hat to attract Uh, you can an update their announcement. I just tag uh, at Genshin. But you can always make a new section if you want. I could always just make a cursive later. You can just add it after announcements if you want. And to send my characters at 20? Uh, think so? The third gameplay is called Metropole Trials. Travelers will need to form two teams to complete I'm level the 11, and... Defeating opponents will- No, I think it was like, uh, 14 or something, because we can then- oh. Like, I already ascended them not long ago, though. My, okay. And I'm only level 16 right now in the game. Will earn you even more points. Oh, and travelers okay. who take part in these three events will earn star sale coins. 
In figurine fabrication, travelers can insert these coins into fantastical fabricators to earn keepsake figurines. Thank you, everyone who's on the it even easier for travelers to remember their journey. Aww, what a cute origami Aww, hamster. So cute. He's just a little guy. Just a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> um, after travelers have used the fantastical fabricators enough times, they'll be able to invite Kirara to their team and claim special rewards, including Prima Gems and Serenity Pot furnishings. Oh, and travelers can display their figurines on good frames, both Ooh. inside their Serenity Pot and around Simulanka. But don't worry if you don't receive the figurine that you want. You can also gift and trade figurines with your friends! Oh, yes! Oh, that's a relief. Ooh, that's awesome. Awesome. Yes! That's so cool. It sounds like the summer region gives us a lot to look forward to. Mm -hmm. I wonder what else version 4.8 has in store. Oh, oh, Me hating it because of the character. Timing. All right, let's take a look at the rest of the events in version 4.8. All right. Yes. Oh, first up, we're introducing the Imaginarium Theater. A once blank canvas has been sitting in a corner of the theater lobby. Now, There's a third time I'm waiting. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Purpose. This new permanent gameplay mode will launch in version 4.8. Nice! Five envisaged Echoes challenges will become available in version 4.8. Each challenge will correspond to a designated character. Hmm. Travelers will receive two keys of Echoes upon entering the challenge, and each challenge requires two keys to unlock. If you complete the challenge, then you'll be able to obtain the corresponding character's Echo cosmetic reward. Oh. Yay! <laughs> yes! And once you've equipped an Echo onto its designated character, they'll have a unique trailing effect while they're sprinting! Oh my gosh! Did yeah, get live streams, give three. Feathers. That's so cool! <sighs> yes, and Chi Chi's Echo seems to give her ghost companions. Aww. Honestly, I feel Ooh. like that's something that Hu Tao would be super interested in. Oh, no, Simon, what is this? Right? <laughs> oh, what is what? Uh, this? Hold on, I have a question. Uh, if we part, only sorry. start off with two keys, then that means we can only unlock one challenge, right? Mm. Uh, Are there any other ways to obtain uh, those keys? Uh, oh, yeah, of course. Travelers can you receive would one key from each. He <laughs> shot them to get a trial. I was feeling. Really... <laughs> really I didn't read either, so I don't know. Oh, okay. So you can't unlock those echo part. rewards in one go. Uh, yes, exactly. I know. What, what do you want me to do? Everyone, the hell? There's no need to rush. What are you at? <laughs> Oh, hold on. You can only oh my god, hold on. I figured it out. I had to, um, have to pay I had attention to, to the character go into this level and friendship level requirements. The participating character I didn't must know that's be level what they 90 and their friendship level must Face be pump. 8 or higher. It's time to test out All right. Well All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the yeah. thing she's going to be saying and laughing emoji the face. Laughing emoji face. Right. I want him to be the oh. prettiest boy in the water and smile. Yeah. <laughs> Each challenge has specific obstacles, and you'll only be able to pass if you fully master the character's skill mechanics. All right, I'm oh, getting newbies yeah. spread away. Oh, man. I'm so People excited. Really mm. <laughs> so ready. <laughs> you can also look forward to a ton of events happening in Fontaine. <laughs> travelers will get to meet an enthusiastic scholar in Romaritime Harbor, which allows travelers to play Bing Bang Finchball. Thanks, Bossima. Bossima and Finchball seems to remind me of something. Oh, wait, wasn't there also a Bossima in version 3.8? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's right. The Bossima we met last year was a Hydro Idolin replica of a human who once visited the Valeria Mirage five centuries ago. Oh, she invented yeah. the earliest version oh, the of Finchball, the Bossima and Fontaine, Me? her descendant. Yeah, hey, you're starving to death, oh. probably. That is uh, a neat connection. Yeah. Hold on. And since so much time has passed, I'm guessing that we'll get Where's to experience a new know. kind of Finchball. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Travelers will still need Hold to on. Finchball Hold on. I didn't fucking eat again. But these new stages will have I'm rival alive. finch balls. Rival oh. finch balls will make it harder to score. There you go. So, anyway, to strategize based on the situation. In front I'll probably starve to death again. Ooh, I like the new changes. <laughs> I'm excited to try the new finch here. ball. And <laughs> that's not the only new addition. <laughs> this version Fine. also has Let's a everything. co op mode. Co op mode? Each other's rival finch Amazing. balls. <laughs> yes. No, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Travelers uh, can freely choose their level while they're in co op mode. Each level has different terrain characteristics and types of finch balls. 
players will take turns launching Finch Balls, and the person with the most points after four rounds will win the match. Hmm. That sounds really fun, no matter who wins or loses. Totally. I mean, look at these little guys, look at the little Finches, they're so cute! <laughs> Aww, <laughs> they're so, so cute! cute. <laughs> oh, and speaking of cuteness, does everyone still remember Asagiri's photo-taking commission? Ah! Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Asagiri has made her way to Fontaine, but this time her photo requirements aren't as strict. Travelers can easily satisfy the commission requirements by submitting photos of their favorite characters. An interval timer mode has also been yeah, added, making it easier for travelers to capture their <laughs> I remember the perfect moment. Everybody in this game loves <laughs> oh, taking pictures. I'm so excited to see what all the master <laughs> photographers are doing. <laughs> that's me. Oh yeah. I remember we'll also this have event. An opportunity to meet up with Hosseini and Fontaine. Yeah, it was and he pretty spot an back upgraded then. energy amplifier with him. Wait, does it <laughs> studying energy amplifiers in order to graduate? Does does this mean that he still hasn't graduated? Oh no. Oh no. I um <clears throat> Scientific research is filled with obstacles. <laughs> <laughs> this time, Hosseini has integrated the energy amplifier with Fontanian technology to create the Hosseini amplifier. And he'll need our help to test it out in combat. Listen, if we can help him finally graduate, I am definitely in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and then, he's, and then he's not going to get graduated. So, in each stage, travelers will need to form three parties to participate in three consecutive rounds of combat tests. Mm. Oh, okay. Each party member will provide a fixed amount of motive force based on their character level. Mm. Motive force can be used to set up ley line effectors, which grant buffs in combat. Oh, so the same character can be assigned in multiple parties, but repeating characters won't provide motive force in subsequent combat. Trials. I remember that. So you better keep that in mind while you're forming your teams. Okay, I get it. So. We need to make sure that each party has enough motive force to receive combat buffs. That way we can obtain a higher score. <laughs> exactly. Once you've configured all the buff slots for a single party, you can also choose a buff to apply across all your parties. All right. Travelers will have to experiment to determine the best setup for them. Awesome. Okay. Is anyone else here excited about card games? Uh, I know I no. I know that I'm excited about card games. <laughs> so in version 4.8, a couple of old friends are being added to Genius Invocation TCG. New monster cards and action cards will also be available. Sweet. Also, yeah. the Overflowing Mastery event is returning in yes. version 4.8, so don't miss out. Let's go. All right, that's all the event-related news that I have right now. So next, let's talk about system optimizations. Wow, Sarah's Ooh. on a roll today. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, first off, the encounter point system has been improved. In version 4.8, excess encounter points earned from daily activities can now be stored. Oh, ah. so travelers oh, won't excellent. have to worry about them going to waste anymore. Okay, so how do we use the points that we've stored? Well, travelers can convert their long-term encounter points into daily encounter points by spending original resin. Long-term encounter points will be reset during every version update that ends with point zero. In other words, the first update for a new region. That means the first reset will occur in version 5.0. Sweet! Oh, nice! Mm -hmm. You can spend them immediately. So cool. Yeah, or you can save them for a rainy day. That gives travelers a lot more freedom. Ooh, also, the cooldown for all world bosses will be reduced to 10 seconds. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. oh. I know. I thought it said reduced by 10 seconds. Nah. That works perfectly Two, 10 seconds. with the changes to the encounter point oh, system. You'll be able to convert oh, encounter door. points even faster now that cooldown periods are shorter. That's super convenient. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, we've also got new optimizations for travelers who love to follow the game's stories. We will now have a one-click... They really one like father. <laughs> Which will hopefully provide a more immersive experience. Yeah, like, remember, we made a good In addition, character. we'll be getting a new feature that allows travelers to review dialogue, text, and audio in their current conversation. Oh, good. I so don't we'll care for reading. Oh, thank goodness. Ooh, that is perfect <laughs> for travelers who like to take screenshots and have, travelers like, hey, who like to analyze the we dialogue. We understand that there's a lot. Oh, you can but look you can forward to a all. bunch of other optimizations. <laughs> no, thank in you. Mm -hmm. Some that, domains in Mondstadt and Liyue will be adjusted. Travelers can choose to lower their world level once they've reached world level 3. 
the difficulty of the License to Glide quest will also be lowered. Just to name a few. Oh, level yes, three that to will two. be so helpful for new players. It'll be easier to pass Amber's gliding test. <laughs> <laughs> that gliding test was easy! Be sure to keep an the eye hell? on future announcements to learn more information. What the? Mm. Well, uh, we hit everything, right? Actually, we still have some more information to share. They're but making the quest first, for let's people. display the final redemption code. Dun da da da! We wait with big yeah, I guess, Here um, we go! Holding forward is hard. <laughs> I'm supposed to be watching Demon Slayer do the board right now, but here I am. Hey, I love you too. <laughs> Last redemption code. Here, this is almost dead too from starving. Again? <laughs> God damn me! My character needs to stop eating. Actually, I think your character needs to start eating. <laughs> it's fine. Again, I think everybody's gonna starve. So oh no, we do have a feed box. Never mind, we're good. Yeah, I just... Did, did you... Did, did we... Did the thing... We start uh, working on the stuff? Already? What stuff? Did every... Welcome back, travelers! Hello! Welcome back! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's get straight to the information that I promised. She kind of obliterated the, like, 700 ingots that we have. Bad. Whoa, what's that? It looks so cozy, I want to be there. I know, right? Okay, <laughs> listen carefully, everyone. I have an important mm -hmm. announcement. Mm -hmm. Hoyo Fest is coming soon. <gasps> <laughs> For those of you who might oh, yeah. know, Hoyo Fest is an annual event that celebrates all of Hoyo vs. Games. Oh, so not just right. Genshin Impact. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah! <laughs> Starting in July, Hoyo Fest will host a series of online and offline events. By participating in these events, you'll have the chance to obtain Hoyo Fest themed merch, event exclusive mm -hmm. gifts, and both in game and out of game rewards. <gasps> Feel free to join in on the fun, travelers. More detailed information will be posted across Genshin Impact's official accounts, so stay tuned! <laughs> so exciting! We also have an exciting collaboration to announce. Genshin Impact will be partnering with one of the largest aquariums in the mm -hmm. world, Sea Aquarium. Hopefully, travelers will be able to participate in an entirely new collaboration experience. Oh, I, I don't think Genshin Impact has ever teamed up with an aquarium before. Uh, let me think. It's got to be a Fontaine-themed collaboration, right? Mm. Yes, you guessed it! Nailed it! This event will be based on Fontaine. Sijuin, the head nurse at the Fortress of Meripede, will guide travelers as they encounter marine creatures and explore the mysteries of the deep sea. Keep an eye on Genshin Impact's and Sea Aquarium's official accounts for more information. Oh, I'm so ready. <laughs> Fish time. Awesome. Now for some out-of-game genius invocation TCG news! <laughs> the knockout stages of Astra Carnival, the Prince Cup for the Atlantic, and Pacific regions will be held soon. The Atlantic stage will take place on July 27th, and the Pacific stage will be held on August 2nd. So look forward to a fierce showdown between top players from those two regions. Amazing. <laughs> There's also a little surprise in store for you all. Uh -huh. Before the knockout stages begin, all travelers will receive a commemorative card back in their in-game mailbox. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. So be sure to follow the official Astro Carnival account for more information. And that's not all. Genshin Impact's fourth commemorative OST album, The Shimmering Voyage Volume 4, will become available in version 4.8. It will feature original Genshin Impact music composed by the Hoyo Mix team. Yay! It includes tracks from version 4.8 events, cutscene music from versions 4.0 to 4.8, and other content. Oh, I'm so excited for music it! Music slaps! Music! <laughs> I'm gonna listen to it forever. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's all the information that we have to share. Then that means... Yeah, it's almost that time again. It's time for the special program to end? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, is there anything y'all want to say before we go? Yes. Uh, I'm very excited for the costumes for Nilo and Kirara. They are so adorable, and I can't wait to see like their yes. new 
uh, roles that they get to play in this new event. I'm, I'm so excited for this. I can't wait. I, too, as an unbiased individual, am excited about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, I'm so, so excited, too, for the echoes. Like, totally. oh, I'm so down for all of this customization. And the music! Oh, it's so... Th Listen, I'm just very excited. Well, I just wanted to say I'm so excited that you all get to finally meet Emily. Yay! I really hope you like her. I'm not excited to meet her. I already know and myself I well. I am super duper excited for Hoyo Fest <laughs> and also for the Sea Aquarium collaboration. Yes. That is so exciting and cool. I can't wait to see what happens with that. So right. epic. Yes. All right. Well, this is the end of the special program. Thank you all so much for being here. And yeah. I guess we'll see y'all in game. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Is that all? I'm not gonna play. Oh, they're gonna play a trailer. <laughs> oh, who's that? Oh. Who are you? Yeah, they're showing a character, but I don't know who that is. I don't know if that's someone we know, or that's a new character. Oh. Oh, I'm interested. That looks like Xiao in <laughs> different dark hair. What the? Hell? They probably are just th gave him a costume. <laughs> like, so. are those just out of skits or something? Honestly, I think they are. Looks like two same characters, but um, that. Like, that basically looks like Shao in a different hair color. <laughs> That's my opinion. <laughs> it's a big... <sighs>